we are going to have discussion on conjugation and accumulation properties of Z transform and we will begin with the conjugation property and we will first understand the conjugation property and then we will prove it and to understand this property I have taken one discrete time signal Xn and let's say this signal is having the corresponding Z transform equal to XZ and the region of convergence is equal to R and now we will perform the conjugation operation on signal Xn and this will give us a new signal X conjugate N and the new signal will have a new Z transform and the new Z transform will be equal to the conjugate of the old Z transform with Z conjugate in place of Z and the region of convergence will not change it will remain the same so this property we call as conjugation property of Z transform and now we will prove this property so let's move on to the proof of conjugation property and to prove it I will quickly write down the Z transform of signal Xn the Z transform is XZ and it is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity signal Xn multiplied to z power minus n and after this we will take the conjugate on both the sides and therefore we will have x conjugate n as the discrete time signal and the corresponding z transform will be summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity signal xn multiplied to z power minus n and then the conjugate now when you remove this bracket you will have summation n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity conjugate of signal xn and then you will have the conjugate of z power minus n we are having conjugate of z because z is a complex variable therefore we need to take its conjugate as well along with the conjugate of xn so finally we are getting the z transform of signal x conjugate n equal to this and when you compare this with this you will find in place of xn we are having x conjugate n therefore we will have x conjugate and in place of z we will have z conjugate so here we will have z conjugate so finally we are getting the z transform of signal x conjugate z equal to this which is same as this result so in this way we have proved the conjugation property and now we will move on to the seventh property that is accumulation property accumulation is equivalent to integration in time and if you remember we performed the integration from minus infinity to a particular instant of time t and therefore we replaced the variable t by a dummy variable tau similarly in this case in case of accumulation we will perform the accumulation from minus infinity to an integer value n and to differentiate between the variable n of the discrete time signal and this particular integer n we will replace n we will replace n by dummy variable k so this implies we are going to have a discrete time signal xk and we will perform the accumulation this means we will perform the summation from k equal to minus infinity to n and we are performing the accumulation of signal xk so this is what do we mean by accumulation and if you are having a signal xn with xz as the z transform 
this signal here will have the Z transform equal to the old Z transform which is X Z divided by 1 minus Z power minus 1 and if the ROC is equal to R for this Z transform after performing the accumulation the Z transform will have a new ROC which is greater than or equal to R intersection with mod Z greater than 1 so now it is time to prove the accumulation property remember the accumulation property and now we will prove it the proof of this property requires the convolution of xn with unit step sequence un and we know their convolution is equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to plus infinity signal xk multiplied to signal u n minus k now because of u n minus k we will perform the summation from k equal to minus infinity to n and the signal whose summation we are going to perform is x k we know why we are performing the summation from k equal to minus infinity to n we have already discussed it in convolution topic now we will move further and we will take the z transform of xn convolution with un we will take the z transform of xn convolution with un and this is equal to the z transform of xn multiplied to the z transform of un this property we have not seen till now this property is known as convolution in time property according to this property whenever two discrete time signals are convoluted their corresponding z transforms will get multiplied therefore the result of this convolution will have the z transform equal to the z transform of xn multiplied to the z transform of un and from here it is clear that xn convolution with un is equal to this so we will have z transform of summation k equal to minus infinity to n x k is equal to z transform of xn which is x z so x z multiplied to the z transform of un which is 1 over 1 minus z power minus 1 this we will obtain in the coming lectures so finally you can see that this signal which is same as this signal is having the z transform equal to x z over 1 minus z power minus 1 which is same as this so we have proved the accumulation property now we will understand how we are getting this region of convergence according to the convolution in time property the region of convergence is greater than or equal to the region of convergence of xn intersection with the region of convergence of un xn is having the region of convergence equal to r and un is having the region of convergence equal to mod z greater than 1 this region of convergence we will obtain in the coming lectures therefore we are having this region of convergence as the region of convergence after performing the accumulation of signal xn so this is all for this lecture i will end it here see you in the next one